In the figure polygon ABC is a triangle. Points A, B, and D are collinear. Point Q is on side AB. Point P is on side AC. Moreover, the following triangles are isosceles, AQP, QPB, and PBC. If the measure of angle DBC is 84 degrees, find the measure of angle QAP. Go ahead, try the problem on your own, see if you can solve it. Um, the video will follow momentarily. So let's go ahead and label a few things that we know are true. For instance, this, the size of this angle is 84 degrees. I'm going to just write 84. Okay, and I need to find this angle. I'm going to call this angle X. And by this angle, I mean QAP. Well, if triangle AQP is isosceles, this has to be X as well. So I'm going to label X right here. And this angle has to be 180 minus 2x. Why? Because some of the three angles in a triangle, some of the three interior angles of any triangle should equal 180. So from 180, if you subtract these two, the sizes of these two triangles, you're going to be left with 180 minus 2x. What about this triangle or this angle? This angle let's use a different color. This angle must be 2x and I'm going to explain it in, in a minute. This has to be 2x because to find this angle I subtracted this from 180. I'm going to do the math right here because they, are, they form a linear pair 180 minus 180 minus 2x and 180 and 180 will cancel and if you remove the princess, if you want to write that second line, you're going to get this. So this, they go away, and you're left with 2x. So if triangle QPB is isosceles, this has to be 2x. If this is 2x, this angle this angle has to equal, just like before, three angles of any triangle, three interior angles of any triangle add up to 180. From 180, if you subtract 2 times 2x, which is 4x, you're going to get the third angle. Well, if this is 180 minus 4x, in order to find this, I'm going to subtract x and this from 180. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to try a different color. To find this angle, I'm going to go with this 180 minus 180 minus 4x minus x. So I'm subtracting this x and 180 minus 4x from 180 because these three angles are on a straight line and this equals 180 minus 180 plus 4x minus x which if you do your algebra right this is going to be equal to 3x 180 and 180 they cancel 4x minus x is 3x so this is 3x and this is also 3x can't see it, so let's go ahead and put it right here. Okay, so what's this angle? This has to equal, like before, 180 minus 6x. Why 6x? 
3x plus 3x is 6x and 3 interior angles of any triangle add up to 180. From 180 if you subtract the sum of these two angles you're going to get the size of the third angle. Now I am supposed to find the value of x. How do I do that? So let's go ahead and do our final work right here. Recall excuse me recall that these three angles should also add up to 180. 2x plus 180 minus 6x plus 84. So I'm going to set up an equation right here in red 2x plus 180 minus 6x plus 84 is equal to 180. Okay. Now, I'm going to remove my parentheses and I'm going to rewrite my statement here and I hope I have enough room to do that. 2x 80 minus 6x plus 84 is equal to 180. Now I can cancel this 180 and this 180 because they are the same number on two different sides of my equation. I can subtract 180 from both sides and if I do so I'll be left with 2x minus 6x plus 84 is equal to 0. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x plus 84 is equal to 0. And if we rearrange our items so that we have positive 4x on, on one side, we're going to get 4x is equal to 84. And dividing both sides by 4, we get x is equal to 84 over 4 sorry 4 which turns out to be 21 so x has to be 21 degrees that's our answer x is 21 degrees